Okay, so this is now six hours since we laid up the side of the boat here. So it was going good and so about two hours, it's six o'clock right now. So four o'clock, I thought that I would help this out and I set up a heater basically, just a little space heater and to blow heat on it. And it's not uncommon to do it. And it was going very well. And I put the heat on it and I checked the temp and it was like 24 degrees. I left it for 20 minutes, came back then it was at 30 degrees, this is Celsius, but it started to run. And you can probably see a little bit here on the camera. And it kind of all got boogery on me, basically. So we're six hours right now. Um, it's right at the position where I can hot coat it at this point. So it's not, it's still pliable. Like I can push it in with my fingernail, but you can't smooth this out anymore. So I have two options at this point is I can hot coat it and smooth it out and just sand it once or I could let this dry, sand it and then put another coat on it and then sand again. I don't like sanding. We are going to hot coat this right now. But instead of hot coating with another layer of epoxy resin, I'm going to hot coat it with our Total Boat epoxy fairing compound. So I was able to look through this and it's only about right here where we're going to need any real build. And outside and outside here, are pretty close. Uh, the fairing compound is going to be a lot easier to sand than this is going to be. So that's what we're going to do. Because this is epoxy, our fairing compound's epoxy, there's no issue with this whatsoever. So what we're going to do, I'm going to meet you back over on the bench. We're going to mix up some total boat fairing compound and come back over here, hot coat this and then I'm gonna be ready to go home. So let's get to it. So again, here we go. Uh, again, Total Boat fairing compound. It's called Total Fair. Uh, it's a two part basically uh, and one to one ratio. So I'm just gonna grab some gloves here because I forgot to bring those over. Um, this is what it looks like when it's dry. I'm using just a piece of plywood here to mix it up on. Um, just don't have to clean it up after. So I'm gonna grab some gloves. We're gonna open this up, get it mixed up because I wanna get this top coat up before we mix our window. On another note right now, has anybody tried to buy these lately? Uh, just standard nitrile gloves. Obviously everything going on, we, we know this, but uh, having a hard time just finding these. And when you can find them, man, are they super ex expensive right now. And then that happens. Not in a rush to get home, but I mean, it's Friday night. Been a long week <laughs> and just anxious not to see boats for you know a day or two. So here we go. Uh, one blue, one yellow, and we're just gonna mix those basically one to one. And probably about I mean, eight ounces did what we wanted over there, right? So, I don't know. We're gonna try maybe two tablespoons of each here and we'll see where that gets us, I think. How's that?
trust me, this stuff is awesome. Again, not a paid promotion, but they really hit the mark on this stuff. I really like it. I wish it was easier for us to get Total Boat products here in Canada. Uh, unfortunately, they don't ship to Canada, and what they do ship to Canada uh, can cost you a small fortune, basically. So, again, this is something I usually like to grab when I'm uh, southbound for uh, a couple fishing tournaments or something like that in the off season. But, anyways, story for another day. There we go, it's about one to one right there. And obviously you don't want to mix up your mixing sticks in each one of them because, well, you know what happens. So we're just gonna mix this stuff up. And you're just looking for a uniform green color up, like you saw on the back side there. Make sure your wood is clean, or whatever you're using, obviously. So they want to make sure that the stuff's mixed, right? And from what you can see there, that's not mixed. So what you're looking for is a consistent green color. If you use it often enough, there'll be different shades of green, and you'll know how to mix it to your own personal preference. But basically, one to one. And sometimes it's more of a guesstimate than anything, but... Whatever works. All you want to make sure is that you don't have any color left on the bottom. Because that transfers into making sanding a much more bigger pain in the butt when you have stuff that's cured and not cured. And again, this is just like when we're working with our epoxy resin. And once it's mixed together, you're on the clock. And obviously, the bigger of a pile that you leave it in, the quicker this stuff's going to heat up and start to kick off and do its thing. So if you can't lay it all up in one pass, just mix up what you can use come back, mix up some more, or keep it in smaller batches, or smaller piles, and then you don't have to worry about it. That looks pretty good there, folks. So there you go, consistent cream, and I mean, it's thick. It's good. And it lays out so nice. So let me get set back up here. We're gonna hot coat that, and hopefully, all goes well. And then just before we get started here, I also wanna note that hot coating, it's not necessarily that your epoxy is hot. It's, you're able to coat this prior to the chemical reaction ending and this becoming a hard solid. So as long as it's still somewhat pliable and you can make an indent here with your fingernail, you're good to go. Anything past that point, it's you gotta let it full cure and uh, do some sanding and come back and lay up your next layer then. So anyways, uh, let's get this going.
So that's actually pretty good. I'm going to just mix up a little bit more. Uh, I just wanna fill in a few other little things around here. And other than that, we're gonna leave well enough alone. And uh, I think we have enough build on here now that we're gonna to have to do very minimal refilling basically after we do our sand. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go mix up some more. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back here and we're just gonna lay up just a little bit more of this in here. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's going to give us quite a bit of build here, which is great. And I'm at that point now, it's already starting to set and kick. So at this point, it's the leave the well enough alone point because you start playing with this now too much. And well, we know what happened already, right? So we're at an all stop here now gonna let it sit uh, next time we come back in then we're gonna be able to sand this down see where we stand and take a look at some other spots here on the boat and hopefully um, we should just be using the green stuff next and just doing basic cosmetic body work so let's hope that's where we are and uh, hey other than that we're going to leave it on that note, so thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night, everyone.